guys, it's Miss Clark. Um, today's lesson, this is for April 24th, 2020. It's a Friday, and um, I wanted to go ahead and record the lesson. Um, and this passage is called Mom's New Job. Okay, so we'll wait till it loads. So it says, I can compare and contrast texts on the same topic. So yesterday we read a passage called Big Sister Sarah. So today we're going to compare it with the passage called Mom's New Job. So make sure you have that in front of you when you're doing the lesson with me. Remember, you can pause anytime. All right. So the warm up is retell the main components of Big Sister Sarah using character, setting, problem, event, and solution. Okay, so think about the main character, the setting, the problem, the event, and the solution. Go ahead and write that down somewhere on your passage. Okay, I would also recommend having Big Sister Sarah out as well. So I would have Big Sister Sarah and Mom's New Job side by side. Okay, you may pause the video now. Okay, now that you have your information written down, your task, as we read the new text, Mom's New Job, mark components that are different with a star. Okay, so mark components that are the same by underlining them. So we're comparing it to the uh, Big Sister Sarah passage. So anything different, you mark with a star, just like in details, and then mark components that are the same by underlining them, same as in the other passage. Okay, so here we go. This one's called Mom's New Job. Sarah's mom checked herself in the mirror one more time. Her blouse wasn't wrinkled and there was no toothpaste on her face. She was so nervous that she even looked down to make sure that her shoes matched. It was the first day of her new job and she wanted everyone to be everything to be just right. Mom, why are you so worried? Sarah called from the other room. Sarah, her mom replied, this job is very important. But mom, you can do it, Sarah said. That's why they gave you a promotion. They know how amazing you are. Just as Sarah's mom was about to tell her she's an amazing daughter, a voice came from the living room. Honey, we have to go. It was Sarah's dad. Mom, we'll be fine, Sarah said. Sarah's mom knew that she and her little sister would be fine. Sarah had proven herself to be a mature and helpful big sister. Sarah's mom gave her a big kiss and left for her new job. Sarah's parents finally came home from work late in the evening. Her mom's first day as a manager had been a very busy one, but she did well. Her new boss had already complimented her. Sarah's mom was already very happy, even before she saw the chocolate cake on the kitchen table. We made you a little treat, Sarah said. Her mom wasn't even disappointed when she saw the big mess they made in the kitchen. There was flour on the floor and butter smeared on the counter. Cocoa powder was everywhere, including all over Sarah's little sister, Mary. But at that moment, her mom knew she had the best daughters in the world, so she didn't worry about the mess. Yes, mom, we'll clean up, Sarah said, before her mother had even said a word. Sarah's mom thought she had the best girls ever. Okay, so now you're going to reflect. On the back of your paper, complete the following. You're going to write the characters, setting, problem, events, and solution. I'm going to start the timer and you'll have three minutes to complete that. If you need more time, you can always pause the video.
Okay, time's up. All right, so now let's debrief or discuss. So what was the same about the texts and what was different about the texts? Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so let me, hmm, you know what we can do? We could probably do that during our Google Meet. We'll actually go over it during our Google Meet, okay? So make sure that you have underlined what's the same between the two passages and then put a star next to what's different, okay? So now let's do a quick check. I will read a question, think about the answer you want, and be prepared to share. Okay, so you can write the answers down on your uh, passage and we'll go over them. All right, so the settings are A, similar because Sarah's school is a setting in each story. B, similar because the family's home is a setting in each story. C, different because the family's home is the only setting in Big Sister Sarah. Or D, different because one story takes place on the way to school and the other story takes place at the family's home. Okay, so decide which one is the correct answer. You can pause the video whenever you like. Next one, how is Sarah's mom's attitude in Big Sister Sarah similar to Sarah's attitude in Mom's New Job? Okay. All right, how is the theme of Big Sister Sarah similar to the theme of Mom's New Job? Okay, so let's think about the theme of Big Sister Sarah that we talked about yesterday versus the theme of Mom's New Job. Okay, what is the theme of Mom's New Job? Okay. All right, which word best describes Sarah at the end of both texts? A, angry, B, helpful, C, impatient, or D, intimidated? Remember, it says describe Sarah at the end of both texts. All right, so what we're going to do next is we'll go over these answers during our Google Meet, and I will see you guys at 2 o'clock. All right, I hope you guys have a good day.